Should be online. Yes, we are. Good, good. Nice, nice. So. I kind of wonder what to start with. <laughs> so as you can see, yeah. we're going to talk about some basic Yakuza terms. Also, at the beginning, I'm going to talk a little about the history of modern Yakuza's. Yes! Like how they all, how they get organized, mm -hmm. how they how they became like a like modern business organization. Very interesting. Right. It's <laughs> all the basic all the basic element that shaped the foundation of them. It's a very yeah, kind of mysterious thing, even for Japanese. Sort of. For ordinary Japanese, I mean. Sort of. Yes, you're not gonna know unless you actually do your research. Never, mm -hmm. never, never, never. Except the fact that we are so familiar with the term Yakuza itself. Yes, yeah. Just the term mm -hmm. itself. Just the term. Mm -hmm. Not in depth. No, not at all. So before starting anything, we're gonna have a pop quiz session here. Yay! I believe it's gonna remind you of the old university days. Mm -hmm. Tomo, I believe. Yay! Yes, that's what I remembered. And yeah. thank you for coming, James. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. So here's a term about a little, little <laughs> stuff. We this... got uh, some Yakuza term named Renkon, Whoa. which typically means lotus root in Japanese. Guess what it means? <laughs> we we're gonna we're gonna tell you the answer later. Uh huh. But before, so and meanwhile we're gonna talk about a brief history of modern yakuza. So please think about think a little about it. Yep, thinking time. You're gonna know eventually. I'm I'm very familiar with rengon itself lots, as a vegetable. Yes, lots of root as a vegetable. Yes, but totally you can see, you can see quite a lot of them at a supermarket or. Or whatever, wherever else. And yeah. it's a really popular popular food. Yes. Actually, yes. Yes. It either, tastes good. Yeah, ingredients for yeah vegetable stew or something like that. Right. But... What about... What about it when it comes to a Yakuza term? When what do you think about it? When it comes to Yakuza term? With my best guess, mm -hmm. I think it's... It means revolver type of gun. Oh. Because... Of its shape. I wonder, so <laughs> let me talk about a brief history of modern Yakuza. First, okay. So I say there is a modern Yakuza mm. or classic Yakuza. Hmm. The term refers a whole different thing. Like, I'd say modern Yakuza typically refers to, typically means an organized crime group. Ho, ho, ho. While classic Yakuza's there is something a little different, something less organized, something less sophisticated, hmm. and something of more classic and small. Ho ho! They pretty much separate things what they're right, what they are now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, firstly, I'm gonna talk about the classic outlaws that hmm. shaped the modern yakuza, and their merger. They get mixed up and form the modern yakuza. What? Okay. And the second step is uh, to be a bigger, to be a bigger. Mm -hmm. A more organized group. Mm -hmm. And they got involved in more diverse businesses. I see. And thank you for a bit, Sabrina And thank you for coming, Sabrina Cloud. That's pretty much what shaped the modern Yakuza. So let's talk about the classic outlaw styles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yakuza's before Yakuza, mm -hmm. I'd say. Yep. I hope you all enjoy this. So, guest. What, what exactly were Yakuza before modern era? Wow. They look so <laughs> serious. They what are they doing? Tattooing? Yes, they, he is tattooing. Wow. So Yakuza had tattoo from that old era. Right. It's, it's a picture in Edo period, mm -hmm. like 17th, 18th, 19th century mm -hmm. Japan. They knew, why, they knew what Yakuza means back then. Mm -hmm. So Yakuza typically back then means meant simple drifters or outlaws. Hey. Wow, like very simple. Like 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 people misbehave or some bad people. Mm -hmm. hey. People still call like people still call yakuza mono, which means uh, bad people or outlaws. Mm -hmm. 
But yes, Yakuza, the term Yakuza itself was as simple as that. Hey. Interesting. Now, nowadays, they typically refer to organized crime group. Mm -hmm. Like you see the game in Yakuza. Hey, so, based on classic Yakuza definition, the gangsters or dooms is popped up in the Yakuza Kiwami can be classified like Yakuza. Possibly. Pretty much. It's got a. Yes, it's got. It's a strong element of classic Yakuza. Hey, interesting. So there were two outlaw classes that formed that is considered to be the origin of modern Yakuza. Oh. The one is called Kekia, mm -hmm. a drifting merchant mm -hmm. or a itinerary merchant who don't really stay on what stay at one place mm -hmm. and they travel around. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Bakuto, mm -hmm. which are gamblers basically. I see. Gambling has been banned illegal in Japan for mm, so long yep. time. So the mm. first one of the categories called tekia. I familiar with those food stands. That's I always so right. see. They, they typically means it, itinerant merchant mm. that usually open their food open their food stands mm -hmm. like on festival mm -hmm. or carnivals. Ho, 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 ho. Sometimes they do a street performance which is included also in tequila groups. Oh. They've got kind of distinct relationship based on boss and underlings. So mm -hmm. you got a boss guy here and under him you got a you got so you got a, a few men. I see. Which is pretty much equivalent to modern Yakuza organize oh. organization. Like you have the boss guy Kumicho, yeah, and be and under him you got his man. He's, he's got the boss got his man. Yes, yes. And he and the boss takes command. Yes, I knew it from the game. Yes, Tekia groups I are not necessarily bad people or outlaws. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're gonna see an honest Tekias. Mm -hmm. But they, the characteristics mm -hmm. of each, their itinerant characteristics, they travels around. Yes, is real match the really, is really good for some sort of outlaws. Ah, oh, I see. So they don't they don't stay in one place, mm -hmm. so they can easily go away when you have when you do like commit like a little crime or whatever else. Ah, it's easy to sleep away. I see. It's easy to sleep away, so... Ha ha! Makes sense. People, so... Kind of many outlaw people getting involved in techie businesses. Ha ha! Very interesting background information. So that's one, that's one of the category. Uh huh. And the other one, the other one is Bakuto. Mm -hmm. They typically refer to gamblers. Ha uh -huh. Gambling, like since the middle age, mm -hmm. the gambling has been strictly banned in Japan. I see. It's been a long, but you know, people do illegal stuff. Ah, uh, yes. That happens in all, all era, all you know, ages, all history. You yeah. know, people want some gambling anyways. Mm-hmm. So? And to some outlaw people or outcast people, hmm. gambling was the only means to make their living. They couldn't really have proper job. I... They couldn't make their own living anything else but a gambling. Wow. That's very risky. <laughs> it was, but they had... No choice? Some, some people had no choice, actually. Ah, uh, I see. Understood. Bakuto pretty much started with individual, like individual or smaller groups, mm -hmm. but they kind of grew bigger since 18th century. I see. Oh. And after like 18th century, they kind of grew bigger, bigger and bigger. Despite the governments try to regulate the gambling and try to get them weaker, mm -hmm. but sort of fail. Oh. They, Sorry. they always slip away. For government. And some some Bakuto groups grew really big. Grew really big. I see. Wow. And the turning point came at 1945, right after the World War II. Mm-hmm. So? Back then, people saw a new and young gang group, which is called the Grentai. Oh. Cool name. So Just its name. Now now they got third party. 
Oh. In addition to bakuto and tekiya. Mm-hmm. So basically, bakuto is specialized for gambling. Yes. And tekiya was specialized for like food stands、mm-hmm. or performance、mm-hmm. at, a, at festivals. Yes. But grentai, they really were violent and really pretty much like. Modern crime groups. Wow! They did whatever they could to make money. They could do like, they could like, they did like, like beating up people,、uh-huh. robbing,、uh-huh. killing people,、uh-huh. like threatening to pay, threatening pay for some, pay some for them, to them. I see. Kind of closer image of my current Yakuza's image. That's all right. Mm hmm. So they pretty much went into war.、Uh-huh. The new Grentai groups、uh-huh. kind of invaded the territories of Bakuto and Tekiyas. Wow. So they had to strike back、uh-huh. to Grentai. I see. And meanwhile, they realized that they had to take a new business. They, have to do, they, they, have, they had to change the way.、Uh-huh. They did. Oh, good, good. And all those groups expanded the businesses.、Mm-hmm. So, meanwhile, you saw like Bakuto,、mm-hmm. gambler, Gambler's Group,、mm-hmm. running a food stand. Oh! Or Tekiya Groups,、mm-hmm. who runs、uh, illegal gambling or、oh. get involved in gambling. Wow. So, they pretty much merged or mixed up. Yes. And meanwhile, the distinction of Bakuto and Tekiya、mm-hmm. got, became meaningless, pretty much meaningless.、Mm. I see. So that's how they, mixed, they got mixed together、uh-huh. and became a modern Yakuza. I see. And thank you for coming, Ruins. Appreciate it. Yeah, money is power. Exactly. It doesn't change. Exactly. Exactly. That meant a lot to them、uh-huh. back then. Yeah, Grand Tides. Yes. And after that, through 1950s,、mm-hmm. through 60s to 80s,、mm-hmm. the, Yakuza, the Yakuza grew real big as, an, as organizations、wow. and crime groups. Wow. And the businesses,、mm-hmm. typically involved in illegal act, gets、also、more complicated、mm-hmm. and yes, became more diverse. <laughs> yes. That's what I guess. Yes, that, that's what happened、mm-hmm. after 1945. I see. So let me head back to the pop quiz. Yay, pop quiz! Yes,、what、at the beginning of the, yeah, our time cast, yeah,、what、Hunch is, gave us a pop quiz.、Mm-hmm. What do you think it means, Renkon, which is lotus root in Japanese? Yes. When it comes to a Yakuza term. Mm hmm. So, para 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 Term. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you're, you're gonna cook them. <laughs> ah, but yeah, sounds very interesting.、Mm-hmm. Actually, there are a few more terms that refer to guns.、Mm-hmm. Like the one is chaka.、Mm-hmm. It chaka. literally says、uh, some rattling sounds or clinking sound. Chaking! It came originally from a police swang.、Hey. They carry a guns,、mm-hmm. and when you walk with a guns holster, holster in the, on their waist,、mm-hmm. they kind of make a rattling sound. Yes. So that's, that's where they came from. I see. Makes sense. Very the simple. Other, the other one is a hajiki.、Mm, It literally means、uh, to snap or flick, like snap. Oh, I see. Pa-ching! It came from snapping a bullet、mm-hmm. and bullet goes、uh-huh. and kills somebody. You're very simple. By the way, these two are, by the way, these two are some of the most popular pistols used by Yakuza.、Uh-huh. The upper one, they, the Yakuza's, 
Yakuza's favorites were some Russian weapons. Because they pretty much were cheaper. Ah, cost <laughs> effective? Cost effective, yes. <laughs> I see. Cheaper and easier to obtain, like this one. Uh huh. The one on the. The one, the one on the above uh -huh. is a Tokarev. Uh -huh. It's an old Russian gun. Uh, I see. And actually, actually, quite a lot of them are made in China back then. Mm -hmm. And they could smuggle them relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. I see. So it's one of the iconic guns when it comes to Yakuza. Interesting. And the, and the bottom is relatively newer Russian gun, Makarov. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much new, mm -hmm. and most of them come from, instead of China, most of them come from Russia itself, because they actually are safer. Ho -ho. It's interesting. interesting that many of the, Mac, the, many of the Tokarev guns mm -hmm. that Yakuza obtained mm -hmm. was without a safety. Mm -hmm. So they... Very dangerous. They're so quite often... <gasps> Quite often, they shot them at a mistake, Ow. not intentionally. Ow, it hurts so your... they had a lot of accidents. <laughs> that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty yes, bad. Yes, Macar Macaro has some safety, uh -huh. so they prefer some safety. Yeah. <laughs> some safer stuff. I see. Kind of interesting. Yakuza violent guy loves safety. <laughs> right. Safety. They they don't want to get themselves hurt. <laughs> Makes sense. Yep. Recently, they don't really use. They don't only use like pistol or small gun. They sometimes get like assault rifles Ooh. or machine guns. Whoa! And I'm not telling a lie, but in 2020, mm -hmm. there was a confiscated rocket launcher in Whoa. northern Kyushu. What? By a yakuza clan from a yakuza clan in northern Kyushu. My gosh! And that's the exact one. It's called uh, RPG Twenty Six. That's the one used in the. Are they Resident Evil thing, John? Right. <laughs> Final. Right, I guess. Final launcher thing. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes, they actually obtain a rocket launcher. Japanese yakuza. Wow, you did a really good job. <laughs> How did you, yeah, do that without, yeah? Kind of is inspected and noticed by any policeman or guard or something. They got some secret road. Yeah. They really did a good job in a bad way. <laughs> so, despite the legislation itself getting more strict from the past, mm -hmm. they typically, Yakuza, organize, Yakuza organizations are typically more armed than before. I see. Oh, thank you for coming, Louise. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So the next term is pong. 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 <laughs> pong. What's that? Popoko. Guess what? That's tanuki sound. Yes. So maybe Yakuza say pong when he when they want to talk about raccoon dog. I guess. <laughs> In reality, they refers to methamphetamine. It's totally or different. Or narcotics. <laughs> Totally sound different, but it's actually got a history. It came from what's called Hiropon. Mm. It's an old Japanese narcotic product oh. that were actually like back in the like back like back in like early 20th century. Oh. Like before the World War Two. Mm-hmm. Methamphetamine product called Hiropon was widely sold. Wow. Even to civilians. Mm-hmm. Was it not illegal? Was it? It was legal it back was, then. Oh, I see. It became illegal like in 1950s or so. Mm, wow, kind of relatively recent. It is right? recent. Back then, people didn't know it's got an addictive feature mm -hmm. or it, it's going to harm your health. Ah, I see. Also, Imperial, Imperial Japanese military armies mm -hmm. and navies, some maybe. Mm -hmm produced quite a lot of them because they needed their army, their, their soldiers to fight like fearlessly, day, day, fearlessly and day and night. Ah, so I it was, see. It was, it was used for anti-fatigue mm -hmm. and drowsiness control stuff. I see. Interesting. But after the World War II, during the chaos, mm -hmm. those military myths 
all went to the black market. Oh, that's pretty bad. And it caused the widespread drug abuse among even among common people. Uh, so that's how the government banned. Makes you, sense. It's illegal to just have just to have it, just possession. Oh, I see. I see, I see. But starting from 1970, mm-hmm. Yakuza started dealing with dealing that. What? Yakuza got the smuggling road. Wow. And sold them that's in ja- sold them in Japan. Oh. And that's that's one of the most major and common business for them, actually. That's dirty. <laughs> that's dirty business. It is. People people hate it. Just please, yeah, sell banana chocolate yeah, at the And that's gonna be peaceful. Yeah. So next term is enko. It actually came from a Japanese term for more like Chinese. All all way of saying a given in Japanese. Mm. And it's got a different names among different meaning among Yakuza. Guess oh. what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just means people like skinny like this monkey? No let's say it. Enko typically means fingers. What? As I say, it came from Gibbon, Japanese term for Gibbon. Mm-hmm. Gibbon. Their names in Jap, their common names in Japanese is Tenagaza, which means like long arm monkey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So they associated the the arms uh-huh. and fingers because they both kind of have kind of a hand. Huh, 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 huh. So they kind of related two terms. Oh. To refers to fingers, so enko means finger in Yakuza slang. Oh. Which involves some specific Yakuza uh. culture. Uh, I saw it! I saw it in the game! I saw it! Of cutting fingers. <laughs> Yakuza typically cut their fingers like when they when they screw something, when they mm. make a mistake, mm-hmm. or when they dishonor their boss. Uh, they, it's kind of a proof that take the blame uh-huh. of what they did. I see. Or like when you. Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you for following. Fabulous, ba- fabulous gay bear. Thanks so much for following. Thank you. I appreciate it. Eh, to Hmm. 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 Or like when they be when they when they went in a con go in a conflict mm-hmm. and they want to stop it, but how how do you, how how are you gonna stop how are you gonna, how are you gonna stop? Cut their fingers. Wow. Cut the fingers of the one who gets get the blame. Ugh. And yes, please, I cut the finger of this guy. Please forgive it. Ugh. Please forgive it. Please let's let let's make it nothing happen. Let's pretend nothing happens. I well, see. sometimes, sometimes, so, sometimes. So, if you want to quit a yakuza clan, mm-hmm. if you want to get out, mm-hmm. you really have to show that you are serious. Ah, uh, uh, I see. And then you cut fingers. Wow. That you got to show that you are so determined. Mm-hmm. Wow. One interesting thing that. Like sometimes you cut multiple fingers. Well, yeah. <laughs> like in when the you, game, that happened. Right, wh- like, like when you screw things multiple times, Ugh. it always start with little fingers, mm-hmm. and then, and then the next one. That's not the game. Second, it one, well, some first. Little finger first. Little finger first. I forgot the name for this specific Medi- specific medic. <laughs> not the not in Japanese way of saying. It's a shame. Next is a little finger. Ring finger. A ring finger. Ha <laughs> ha. And a middle finger. I see. They typically keep the index and some index finger and the thumb intact. Mm-hmm. They typically don't cut it because it's for showing mercy. At with these two fingers, at least you can use chapstick and oh. eat your meals. Oh! So it's the utmost mercy for you as of when it comes to yakuza. Very interesting. Okay, that's 
It's really hard to figure out the mercy of, of Yakuza culture. <laughs> it, it's a tradition. Uh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. So next one to come is Teppo Dama, mm -hmm. which typically refers to a bullet in Japanese. Yes. But Yakuza slang's got some different meaning. Mm. The, Guess what, Tomo? Because the the people who know come back, <laughs> right? Actually, you got it right. <laughs> it typically says a ro no returner, mm -hmm. or more modern usage, it means a hitman. Mm. Yakuza typically sent some sent some lesser class guy mm -hmm. to start a war. Mm -hmm. They it's a it's. The player sent him a suicide mission. Yee! They they have him take the take the lead, uh -huh. attack the oppo, oppo, attack the uh, the hostile clan first, uh -huh. and they don't care if he lives or not. Uh, kinda, and that's how they start a war. <sighs> kind of this dishonorable kamikaze thing. It is. It's pretty much just a suicide mission. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so harsh. In. To live in Yakuza world, wow! It, it, it takes quite a lot to be a Yakuza. Yes, indeed. Very like more, more recently, mm. this is used for used to call a hitman in mm -hmm. Japanese. Mm -hmm. Not really, not really proper Japanese if Yaku, for in Yakuza slang. I see. <laughs> so next one to come is Yagi. Yagi. Which almost sounds like goat in Japanese, mm -hmm. but it's got a different meaning, of course, in, as a ja Yakuza slang. Eh, hey, Yagi! <laughs> yagi! Guess what? <laughs> guess, guess, get, 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 mm, wait, wait may, may, maybe who is good at climbing the mountain? <laughs> because y Yagi Not is very good at close. it. Not quite close. It typically actually means rice. What? It came from kanji character for rice. Eh? <laughs> it's this, yes. I see. Let's see. I wish I could directly write. Yes, you can. Or... Yes, I can. Oh, okay. So let's see. Uh huh. And Can you erase the, it? Let me let me erase oh. it. Yeah. So that's the word for rice. Yes, yes. In kanji. You can break it down. Uh-huh. Like eight. Huh. And wood. Wood. Like these two parts uh -huh. are for eight. Uh -huh. And the remaining becomes the wood. Wood. I see. And you in Japanese, you can read it yagi. I see, yeah. Eight, yeah, can be called like ya. Yes. Yes. And, and ki, ki, you can you can pronounce it as gi. Gi. So yagi. That's what makes yagi. Now, with I guess that now it explanation, makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Finally, yes. <laughs> also, there are a few more terms that says rice, like shari. Mm -hmm. It came from a Buddhism term. It originally meant uh, meant the uh, meant the fluctuated bone of Buddha himself. Uh, when really? He, when he after his death and he was burned. Is it not a special special term for the sushi? Not really. Eh, really? Wow, interesting. I've never known that. It came after the. F fractured bone of Buddha mm -hmm. after he is burned. After he was burned. Wow. Oh, by the way, thank you for coming to Flying Vixen. Thank you, thank you. So, B Buddhist, Buddhist, Buddhist monks, monks said mm -hmm. his bone after his death and burn mm -hmm. was was round and shiny. Oh, not and people, and Japanese people saw similarity. Uh huh. With rice to them. Wow. <laughs> that's what. That's how they. That's how they started. Sometimes started called those rice. Rice. As shari. As shari, yes. <sighs> Very interesting story. And here comes the next one. Deka. Hmm? 
I'm very familiar with this term. Yes, actually, it's a famous term. Yes. Literally, almost means like something big, something that is big. Mm -hmm. So, this is. This is cops. Mm. Deka typically refers to cops. It came from this particular outfit, <gasps> which, which is called kakusode. Kakusode. Mm -hmm. It was a it was, a pol it was used as a police outfit in Meiji period, mm -hmm. which is late, late 19th to early 20th century. Oh, interesting. Of course, those outlaws hated the cops. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> so they coined a term mm -hmm. to kind of, kind of a not honorable way of calling them. I see. So they kind of made an anagram. Uh -huh. They switched the order mm -hmm. to coin the term Ksodeka. Ah, they just switch the order. Uh -huh. it, it almost sounds like damn big or something. Uh, very interesting. And they use this term to call the police. Uh -huh. Later on, they omitted kso, uh -huh. dumb or shit. Uh -huh. And just now, deka leaves. I see. Yeah, maybe they just would like to make it shorter. <laughs> right. I see. And actually a good term. Deka. Mm. I kind of like it, so. <laughs> I see. Next one is daily. Oh. It's not... It literally says, like, going in and out, take, taking a visit to somebody yes. or something. Yes, yes. So that's... guess what? It's not the, that meeting? Not quite. Daily, <laughs> <laughs> um, daily. You say him. It's a full fledged war between Yakuza clans. It's a war between <laughs> Yakuza clans. <laughs> really? Wow. So like when you see uh, when you see a hostile Yakuza people are going in your office, mm -hmm. you're gonna say, We got some deity here. Oh hey. They don't they don't directly call it a war mm -hmm. because wars between Yakuza typically end with a nego some negotiations. Mm hmm you know you don't really want to you don't really want to massacre the opposing clan mm, 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 mm. it's, it's gonna cost some lives on your side too yes right exactly and you you don't really want to get it too complicated mm -hmm. hey. so they typically call somebody as a mediator mm -hmm. maybe who ha maybe who has some respect to both to both of the, to all the parties who's involved in the, in the war uh-huh and they make some arrangement mm -hmm. and call it a finish. Oh. They don't really they don't really have to continue until everyone dies. Uh -huh. I see. Interesting. And it's not quite honorable. You it's kind of shame mm -hmm. that you get involved in a war. Mm. Yes, you basically had a fight. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's embarrassing. Yeah, I see. So it's it's pretty much a way not to dishonor any party, anybody involved in the war. Mm -hmm. they, they just call it just taking a visit. Just somebody took a visit here, ha, ha, ha. and nothing really happened. Ha, ha. Let's let's pretend that that's what happened. Ha, we, interesting. It wasn't really a war. Mm -hmm. It was just a friend, maybe not friendly, but it was, it just was a visit. Just a, a visit. visit. Ha, ha. Nothing more. Nothing else. Very interesting. So, so as to nobody gets embarrassed. You're embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Not hold mm -hmm. I guess that's gonna be the last one. Alright. Which is shinogi. Yes. I also heard that word in mm -hmm. the game. Literally it says a part of katana, like this part. Oh, ho 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 ho. I see. But yeah, as a as a Yakuza slang, it's got a different meaning. Yes, I knew it. But I don't know how to express <laughs> it. So but sorry, I you please idea. tell me how. It says business, the way of business or fundraising. Mm. Anything that makes money. Mm. Yakuza businesses traditionally, mm -hmm. like starting from 1950s or so, mm -hmm. involve drug deals, mm -hmm. extortion, threatening people to pay some, uh, yeah. and protection fee. Like, I'm gonna allow you. 
Uh-huh. To open a store here, open a shop, maybe a bar、uh-huh. or a restaurant here.、Uh-huh. And I guess you're gonna have a lot of trouble because you got so many Yakuza here. So I can protect you、uh-huh. and you're gonna pay some. I see. It's gonna look like that.、Uh-huh. And of course, gambling.、Uh-huh. <laughs> Those four things are traditional, most, most common Jap- Yakuza businesses.、Uh-huh. But now that the legislation h a v e gotten a lot strict, Mm-hmm. A lot more strict than before. I see. So they have to go underground、mm-hmm. and they have, to find, they have to find some other means、mm-hmm. to make money. I see. Now it's pretty unclear the, how exactly they are making money.、Mm-hmm. Yes, no idea. Sure, surely they're going to keep doing some drug deals.、Mm-hmm. But it's also known that Yakuza are now involved in like, fraud, fraud、mm-hmm. like tricking people. And pay some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or poaching a fish, fish or those clowns. Oh, I see. Like,、wow. I, like I heard, some, some Yakuza are involved in eel poaching. Eel poaching? Eel, yes. Eel. They, they, catch, they catch seafood stuff、mm-hmm. illegally、uh, where they are not allowed to get it. That's not great at all. But, well, It's very interesting. Things, things have been changed. Things are constantly、yeah. changing. Yep. By the way, now it's now the got, last slide. It, it was, that was the last one, and that's pretty much it for today. I see. So maybe can we just go over a little bit、uh, comments from the top? But before that, can you leave for just a second, please, Hatch? I'll be right back very soon. <laughs> Sorry. So, if you can answer some,、uh, some of the questions, please, yeah, do that. I'll be so, I'm going to take, take a look at the comment. So, Ruins of the Eighth Wall, that is surprisingly accurate to the fence of face. Common spines face include safety, extortion, face businesses, and black market. It sounds pretty much like Yakuza equivalent. James, good to know most of your got, yours got answered. <laughs> I'm glad I covered pretty much all the stuff that you wanted to know. Let's see. <laughs> Polly, yes, Yakuza Wars always end with some Polly. And they really are strict about like, protecting their honor, protecting their like, staying honorable, staying something that's honorable. Let's see what else. No problem, Ruin. So please let me know if you have any question or maybe a comment. We're gonna appreciate it. And please wait for Tom Wapil. l、oh, just a little. Silver Cloud, I'm curious if the cutting finger thinks a sign of loyalty. Yes, I guess that's pretty much it. It's pretty much for showing how like, sincere, how serious you were of what you are doing. Like, you, when you quit a Yakuza clan, you're gonna have to cut your. At least in the past, you had to cut your fingers because you have to show that you're serious. That is. It's that big deal. And it's like you make a mistake or maybe dishonor your boss, Kumicho. Yes, that's when the, that's when the cutting fingers come in. Now I'm back. So, yes, I think it, a sign of loyalty kind of get, get involved in cutting finger rituals. And ruins. One of the things I was informed of in high school was that Japanese associate a rolling R sound to the Yakuza, which makes it difficult for me as I naturally roll them. It is a common association. Let's see. Rolling R. 
Oh. Rolling R. Ah. You already got it, Hat. Like. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's typical. Yes, it's some of the most common Yakuza images. And when you like watch all the Yakuza movies, like 60s and 80s, uh -huh. you definitely hear people speak like that. Yeah. Because it, it makes that guy more kind of scary. Yes, it gets you more scary. Mm -hmm. And also, it, what I guess is part of a like Hiroshima dialect. Hiroshima dialect. <laughs> like Hiroshima's are pretty famous for a home of big yakuza clans. Oh. And all them powerful yakuza's, many of the old all them powerful yakuza's are from Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. And of course people people belong to the, the those organization mm -hmm. are naturally from Hiroshima and they speak in kind of scary way <laughs> there it's it, it's because of the dialect mm -hmm. so the not 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 all hiroshima citizens are scary they are not, please, please, please. They're not <laughs> unnecessarily scary mm -hmm. but it's threatening to speak in hiroshima dialect mm -hmm. aggressive yes uh, they, uh, it's gonna sound it's gonna sound more aggressive i see yeah right 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 exactly and it's not really, and it's not quite same as our sounding English. Mm -hmm. You you just keep ro rolling, mm -hmm. like rolling, rolling, <laughs> rolling. <laughs> yeah, aggressive. Wara, nani sarshtoni. Yeah, sounds like that. <laughs> rolling. Yes. Yeah, super close. Nice, nice try. <sighs> so yeah. Yeah, it's kind of still kind of Yakuza typical image, I guess. But yes, actually. Yeah, how many yeah still Yakuza guys speak like that? I don't know totally. I don't know, but it's still scary even today. Hmm. Yes. Right. Is there any interesting question? It's only forty minutes or so. Oh, okay. I guess that's pretty much it. Okay. So maybe we can check out your rest of the comments after we finish the stream. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much thank for very all much for of watching you us. coming to our stream. And thank you for very interesting questions and comments. Right. I hope the topic itself interested you. Yes. So I hope you have at least a little, yeah, kind of chill out time mm -hmm. in the morning of Sunday. Despite the topic itself. Yeah, yeah, I must accept that. <laughs> we do hope you have a good Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're gonna upload the video on my YouTube channel too, so you can watch it afterward. Yes. So, maybe tomorrow we have. Yes, we have a natural ho holiday. national holiday. So, so we're gonna possibly, stream tomorrow too. Yeah. Tomorrow in Japanese time. Yes. So it's gonna be like Sunday night. Night. I believe. So. If you feel like coming, mm -hmm. we always yes, welcome. We're welcome. Yep. So until maybe tomorrow. Yes. Or uh, not not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, technically. Sunday. In the, in the US. Time. Sun, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. So, Hachan Tomo, signing out. Thank you so much for your visit, and we're gonna see you soon.